but I think it's between 0 and 1 based upon my, my sketch. All right, so again, we're, we, do, we can't avoid a formula here. We do need the equation of the line and the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, is the simplest formula for the line, the simplest template, algebra template, and um, I've already got the slope, so I can replace m here. My equation is now y equals to 4 ninths x plus b. And now, how should we find b, the missing number? Well, in this case, I've got two choices, because I have two points which fit into this equation, and so it's a matter of, of picking one of those points and plugging it in. So, for example, uh, well, let me just pick the first one. So if I take this point, um, negative 4 goes in for x, negative 1 goes in for y, so I'm, I'm checking the point negative 4, negative 1. And this gives me minus 1 equals to 4 ninths times minus 4 plus b. So we need to solve for b. And I know a lot of algebra students just hate fractions, but they're really not that bad. At least not this one. What is negative 4 times 4 ninths? Well, negative 4 is a numerator. So I have negative 4 of those, that makes it negative 16 ninths plus b. And to solve for b, I need to add 16 ninths to both sides. And so b is going to be minus 1 plus 16 ninths. Now, we need a common denominator. Minus 1 is minus 9 ninths plus 16 ninths and b equals to, what is that, 7 ninths. Okay, now what was b? b is the y-intercept and uh, we predicted that it would fall between 0 and 1 and sure enough it does. It's a little under 1. So this appears to be consistent with the sketch I did. Most likely it's correct. All right, so we have the y-intercept, we have the slope. Now we can um, finish the problem by writing the equation. So let's see, the equation is the equation is y equals to 4 ninths x plus seven ninths, period. All right, now we, I think it's probably right because it looks right from the graph I drew. But I want to show you how you can, how you can check these and be sure. If you're doing homework to turn in for me, I would think this would be worth the effort. And if you have time on a test to check your work like this, that would certainly be worth the effort. Take a minute and check it. Now, to check any problem in math, you've got to make sure that your, your answer fits the given information. So, to check this, I want to first look at this point, negative 4, negative 1. So, I'm going to plug those numbers in. Minus 1 equals to 4 ninths times negative 4 plus 7 ninths. Negative 1 equals 2, negative 16 ninths, plus 7 ninths. Negative 16 plus 7 is um, negative 9 over 9, and that equals to negative 1. So this point checks the equation. That's correct. Um, just a quick comment, what's, what's nice about these, most of the time, when you do get fractions, they have the same denominator. And so when you go to check them, it's actually pretty easy to check because you already have common denominators. All right, I'm going to check the other point, and I'm going to erase this.
to make room is I have a small board. The other point, 5 comma 3, and incidentally, if you're going to check your work, it only makes sense to check all the information you begin with. Because it's possible to get the wrong equation where that fits in it correctly, but that one doesn't. So we need to check them both. All right, so y is 3. That equals to 4 ninths times 5 plus 7 ninths. 3 equals to, what is this? 5 times 4 ninths will be 20 ninths plus 7 ninths. And 20 plus 7 is 27 over 9. Divide this and we get 3. So that also checks. Okay, now if you plug the numbers in and something didn't check, then you've got a bad solution. You need to go back and try to find the mistake or, or rework the problem and try to find the error. So, um, you know, these work out and uh, the check will just tell you if your answer is correct or not or if you have to go back and, and fix it. All right, so both those points did check, so we can be very confident now that this equation is the correct solution to the problem.